The truth about these terrifying Roblox images. You may have scrolled through Roblox and have seen these weird looking images, but have you ever wondered where they came from? From images staring into your soul, demonic faces hidden in Roblox, and even more footage that is said to be from the dark web, I'm going to take a look at different creepy images found on Roblox and try to find out where it came from. Alright, so for the first image, I literally just typed in the word horror, and after scrolling some time, I managed to find this image right here. It's called Horror Satan. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty creepy. It looks like it's some boy with a weird creepy face face over it. it kind of looks like a zombified figure or something um and here's a more fuller image of the picture i found it on reddit and it says 1988.jpg apparently this guy found the photo from a flash drive and this was the only picture in it well, that's uh, that's kind of creepy but thankfully someone was able to provide some context stating that the picture is from a creepy pasta called the grifter um and so i looked more into the grifter and apparently it started on 4chan where there exists a video that is so disturbing that it causes the viewer to experience symptoms of nausea nightmares and even more terrifying things and as you can see on the right side, there's some examples of some of the footage shown in the Grifter. Um, and I actually managed to find the Grifter on YouTube. Alright, so there's a video here. It's not the full thing, it's just like little parts. But as you saw, there's a quick glimpse of that one creepy image that was found on Roblox. And then yeah, there's a more disturbing things too. But is this Grifter video actually real? Is it so horrifying that it causes people to get nauseous and even worse? Well, actually, thanks to Scare Theater, he actually made a video called The Grifter Debunked. Pretty much stating that all those scenes we saw earlier was actually from this movie here called Little Otic or Otec. Um, and the movie itself is actually pretty creepy, but here's some side comparisons that Scare Theater does, which you can see on the right side is a normal movie, and the left side is, is the Grifter one, which definitely looks a lot more gruesome. Like here you can see the baby on the Grifter side, it looks a lot more realistic. The right side, it's very obviously a doll. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I, yeah, I don't like all these creepy things. What, what the heck is this movie about? <laughs> but going back to this Roblox image, we know that it shows up in the Grifter, but where does it actually come from? Well, the original image is this one here. It looks to be like an innocent boy getting their photo taken, and I guess someone just photoshopped them. I mean, the face that they throw onto him looks to be similar to like this PNG face, and they just turned it black and white to make it look more horrifying. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty mean. All right, but the next creepy face I saw in Roblox is this one here. <laughs> it seems to be like some person looking underneath at some bathroom stall kind of staring into your soul. Um, and I was able to find more information. And apparently this belongs to a creepypasta known as the McGrady Tape. The creepypasta was actually created in 2023. And the creepypasta all started from this video here. Take a look. The question that has long plagued police is what do we make of the McGrady Tapes? So back in like 2001, at a blockbuster in McGrady, North Carolina, a car drove by in the parking lot and just dropped a tape outside of the building. So okay. employees saw that and they went outside to get the tape and they were like, who would drop a tape off like that? Until they looked at it and they noticed something thing was wrong. This uh -oh. was the tape that was recovered from the parking lot and it was completely unlabeled. According to the story, they took it to the back room where they were able to play it back and this was the footage they found. It is a 40 minute oh, video <laughs> of a person's face looking under what looks like a bathroom stall and it's completely silent. Like straight, uncut, 40 Wait, minutes it's of this 40 minutes? cameraman just breathing heavily while they videotape this. Ooh. Management turned the tape over to police and the strangest part is that a search canine signaled that the tape had traces of human decomp on it. To this day, whoever's behind the McGrady tape is a mystery. Um, so the McGrady tapes, is it actually real? Is this guy staring into your soul for 40 minutes straight? No, that's just a creepypasta story. Um, this image has some pretty funny context because it's actually from a prank video called Looking Into Bathroom Stalls Toilet Prank. Gone wrong, okay. What's up guys, I'm Cody, I'm with my friend Chester. Yeah, look, there Today he is, Chester. Today we're gonna be Chester. having Chester peek <laughs> into bathroom stalls. Let's see how people react. Okay, let's see how people react then. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Jeez. Did he throw the toilet paper at him? <laughs> oh wow, he's, uh, he's really angry. Okay. <laughs> that there he is. That's the image. Hey, man. It was Chester peeping at him. It is pretty funny how this prank video turned into some nightmare fuel. All right, but another nightmare infested image I saw on Roblox is this one, Smile Tapes Volume 3. Um, and it wasn't hard to trace back where it's from. Uh, I literally just typed in Smile Tapes, and apparently there's a video here that was posted back in 2021. Our I haven't seen this video yet, but let's see what it's about. The Smile Drug. Okay, so it's a drug. To stay uh -huh. away from any person suspected to be under its influence. We have received over 500 deaths related to the drug. Oh, okay. Violent the drug makes you the laugh? The which the drug was named after.
I don't like this. All right, so here are the supposed patients. Patient one and two, okay. The left one seems to be the one from the Roblox image. Complaining of severe headaches and acute facial cramps. Oh, they're, uh, they're smiling now. <laughs> Patients begin to smile. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty big smile now. Uh-oh. Faces begin to contort to a wide grin. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> I get goosebumps from the left. Oh yeah, that is, uh, that's definitely starting to get scary. I think this is the exact same Roblox image here. So yeah, the smile tapes aren't actually real. It's a web video analog horror series created by this YouTuber. He actually does a lot of horror based content. Um, the drug itself, as far as I know at least, doesn't actually exist. But there is a plant that does share a similar instance as the smile tapes. It's called the Hemlock Water Drop Wart. It's the most poisonous plant in the UK and very common along most of the waterways. And the poison acts by constricting the muscle, causing death by asphyxia which also causes a rictus like death grin the sardonic grin so yeah pretty much just kills somebody and makes them smile <laughs> it's so pretty creepy actually all right so i was asked if i could find out the source of this image scariest game ever 18 plus do not play no kids allowed that's a mouthful um uh, yeah it's a pretty horrifying one it looks to be like some demonic zombie figure just kind of staring into your soul yelling at you so i went ahead and grabbed the image and put it over to google images where i was able to find the original video that it came from and it's from a youtube video from 16 years ago so it was posted in 2007. Um, and here's the image. It's a guy just kind of looking at you, and then, uh, and then uh, he does the creepy face here. <laughs> uh, but then he goes back to normal. Um, and I went to his channel, and apparently he did a lot of these demon face videos. Demon face test two. Demon face test three. Um, and in the description he says trying out Andrew Kramer's video co-pilot demon face tutorial. And I was actually able to find the demon face tutorial here. <laughs> it's a pretty old one. He uses Adobe After Effects and just kind of walks you through the whole transformation and everything. Um, but he does manage to produce a similar scary result. I think it's cool that someone just followed a tutorial and it's now a face that a lot of people have seen on Roblox. All right, but another scary face we need to talk about is the goat man. And I'm not talking about this big image here. I'm talking about this one, the do you copy the goat man? So here's a more defined image. It seems to be like some humanoid goat entity creature just kind of like grabbing at the camera. Um, and the goat man has been pretty popular. It actually made it in a couple of news articles. Numerous urban legends tell of Louisville's goat man. Okay, <laughs> this was posted back in 2014. So I guess there was like a goat man roaming the streets of Kentucky. Well, that's nice, I guess. But as for the image itself, this is the origin of it. It was originally posted in DeviantArt back in 2011. See, the artist even says, my most stolen image. This is a local cryptid, sort of like Bigfoot, but goatier. <laughs> okay. Supposedly, he was a scientist who experimented on goats in an epic instance of karmic backlash. Somehow his experiments backfired and turned him into a half goat monstrosity. Understandably unhappy with his situation in life. He's been killing pets and haunting Lover's Lane in PG County since the late 70s. Oh, okay. Okay. And yeah, he created the image with Photoshop elements, stock photo, and a lot of free time. He made this image for a fake cryptid contest, but unfortunately he didn't win. But he won in our hearts and in our nightmares. Alright, but the last creepy image I want to talk about is this one here. Content deleted. Alright, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.